What's up, Ant City, and welcome to another discussion video. Now, today we're going to be talking about Sonic Frontiers because the day I'm recording this, we got some exclusive gameplay footage from IGN. Uh, they were the first ones to premiere this new gameplay footage. It just showed off some of the exploration for Sonic Frontiers, and and I felt like this was the perfect time to go ahead and talk about Sonic Frontiers and what I want out of the game. Now, this video, I'm going to say it right now, this isn't what I'm actually expecting out of the game, you know? Because, really, I'm not really expecting anything for the gameplay. They only showed off a little bit of the exploration and that kind of thing. So, there's really not much to go off of, but I'm just going to talk about, you know... But I'm just completely wishful thinking, like, honestly, 90% of what I say probably will not happen and probably isn't even realistic. But I want to talk about it anyways. Just because, you know, if it does happen, I just think it would be really cool. I just think these are some good ideas. Now, if you saw, like, on my channel, like, years ago, I did a video like this about Sonic Forces. I believe I literally called it Sonic Forces What We Want or What We Want Out of Sonic Forces. Something like that. So this video is going to be kind of similar to that, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what we've seen because back then we had no gameplay for Forces when I made that video. Now we've got a little bit of gameplay. So the first thing I want to talk about is the gameplay itself. We're just going to start there. So so again, this gameplay trailer only showed off a bit of the exploration. They did actually say at the beginning that it was just going to be for, for exploration. And that's something I want to talk about because I've been seeing so many people saying that this trailer was like super underwhelming. And that the game looks bad and stuff, but it's like they they literally because people were like, "Where's the combat? Where's all this stuff?" But it's like they said at the beginning, it's focusing on exploration, and they're gonna slowly drop more information as the month of June continues. So like, I think that they want to do like a slow drip of what the game has to offer instead of just showing it all off at once, which I know some people would prefer. Not saying that that's like a bad thing to want, because I mean honestly, that would would have been hype to see like everything the game has to offer in one big trailer. Maybe at the end of the month to do something like that, but based on what they said in that video, it seems like they want to do like a slow drip of like trailers and gameplay and stuff, which make which makes sense. You know, nothing wrong with that. Like that is perfectly fine with me. Like I'm fine with getting like constant updates. I'm excited for this new Sonic game. But within the gameplay itself, what they showed again was just the exploration. But to me, it still it felt like they were still holding back a lot of stuff. Like you know. Uh, for example, like Sonic's movement in the trailer, he felt really slow compared to how normally he runs in like 3D games especially. He felt really slow, but I think they were actually holding back his top speed on purpose. Because there are a lot of moments throughout the game, like when he does like his boosts and stuff, that you'll notice. He does gain some speed, like he does gain a good amount of speed, but then he like slows down immediately. To me, it felt like whoever was like playing the game... They were intentionally holding back how fast Sonic can really go in that game. So I feel like maybe that's something they plan on showing off later, like a bunch of speed feats or something like that. I say feats, but like a bunch of speed like techniques, like how fast Sonic can truly go. I think that they're holding all of that back until later on. So that's why like I'm not really upset about the trailer. Like It was a little underwhelming, but I mean, it was kind of cool to actually get something like CP someone running around and stuff. But yeah, so I think Sonic's top speed is still being held back. I think we're actually going to get to go much faster than what they showed. Especially if you take a look at how fast you can go on some of those rails. It would be weird if Sonic moves faster on rails than he does when running normally. Especially because it's a 3D game and there's the boost feature that the 3D game has. Like, the whole boost gameplay element. It'd be weird if the rails move faster than the boost, you know? So I think that we still have much more to see. And like, uh, I don't know when they're going to be showing off more stuff. I think I heard the next thing is combat that they're going to show. I'm not exactly sure when they're going to show it off, though, but they're going to show off combat. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about in that gameplay trailer, some people were pointing out, is so you can collect rings throughout the game, right? But there are also purple coins that you can collect. And when I think of two different currencies, like, you know, rings and purple coins, especially purple coins, the first thing I think of is Mario Odyssey. Because that's exactly what Mario Odyssey had. Every different world you went to in Odyssey had purple coins you could collect. And then also the normal coins, which counted as your lives. So maybe Frontiers is kind of copying Odyssey a bit. And we're going to not have lives anymore. And it's just going to be based on your ring count. Like that, that would actually be pretty cool. But the main thing I want to talk about here is the purple coins. Because if those function at all like Odyssey. Because remember in Odyssey, you could buy a bunch of different outfits and stuff. I would absolutely love that if it's the same here in Frontiers. Now, what I mean is, like, for example, imagine you could go to the purple coin shop and buy, like, 
Well, obviously, Sonic doesn't really wear clothes. He just has shoes. But imagine you could buy the shoes that are from, like, the Sonic Adventure era. Or you could, like, buy the sword from Black Knight and have that as, like, an accessory. I think they should definitely do something like that. If they're giving us something to buy with these purple coins, maybe they could also just do, like, upgrades and stuff, you know? Like, maybe you could... Kind of like what Generations has, actually, where you can buy, you know, faster homing attacks. You can do uh, an instant stop. You can do... You know, Sonic's top speed is faster, his boost gauge is up, that kind of thing. They could do that. But I think having different outfits and kind of like, you know, referencing all these past games would be cool. Like getting, again, like Sonic's adventure, like shoes, and maybe even just his adventure design. Maybe not the full model. Maybe they could, they could do something like the classic Sonic model. Like Mario Odyssey had like a classic Mario. Uh, they did have the Mario 64 model in there too, though. So they could do something like that for Sonic too. You know, just bring in like one of his models. Um... They could even do, like, uh, just, like, a bunch of different costumes. Like, you give Sonic, like, his rings and stuff from Secret Rings. Um, but I think just doing, like, different references like that would be cool. Like, they could even pull stuff from the comics and give you, like, a Scourge outfit. They could give him, like, his board from Riders. Like, th there's a lot that they could definitely do, potentially, with just, like, outfits and stuff that I would be there for. And then, like, imagine if they also have stuff for, like, Super Sonic. Because that is a thing I definitely want to see in this game. Super Sonic Open World would be sick. Like, getting to just fly around. I really hope that's in this game, but I don't. I don't really know how it would play, though. Is the thing because they'd have to be limited. But I don't know if they can implement Super Sonic into the open world somehow. Though I'm absolutely here for it because I feel like they need to do something like that. Because the one thing with Odyssey that made that game so different was the fact that there was no power ups, but you could take control of different things. And I think this game needs some sort of like gameplay element like that that sets it apart. Because that's what made Odyssey such a great game is that. It wasn't just like Mario's in this open world he gets to explore. No, you got to get really creative with like the different things you can possess. Like you could take over Goombas, you can stack up the Goombas. Uh, like instead of power-ups, they replaced it with something else. So Frontiers needs something like that, but I don't know what that would be though, to be honest. And again, they're going to show off stuff later on as we keep going. But I think the purple coins being used for like aesthetic stuff though would be really cool. But again, I feel like what's more likely is just like power-ups you know like because that's a thing that sonic does like to use a lot like again generations has those you can buy different power-ups and then even uh sonic adventure 2 had like a bunch of different power-ups and stuff you could find around so i feel like the purple coins are more likely going to be for power-ups but i think getting to uh unlock different costumes and stuff would be really sick and then that leads me into my next point now i don't know if i would link this to the purple coins exactly but I want them to also give us more playable characters. So, instead of just running through this game as Sonic, let me play as Shadow, Silver, Tails, Knuckles. Like, I'm talking, just stockpile a game with every character. Bro, put Eggman. Let, let, let me play Eggman. I don't care. Just, just pump up this game with characters. Especially, like, Shadow. Because Shadow, we did get in forces, but it wasn't much with him, you know? Uh, I get You could play him on, like, any stage, though. So, it was cool we got to play Shadow again. But giving me Shadow and then giving me, like, Super Shadow and letting me use, like, Chaos Control and stuff. Like, that is what I want. And then all of this being open world, I feel like that could, again, be a thing that kind of sets this apart from Odyssey as well. It's just giving us different characters all with different play styles. I think that could actually be the thing. Because, you know, with Odyssey, you didn't actually get to play as, like, Luigi or anything. It was just Mario, but he could possess, like, anything in the world. I think if Sonic Frontiers gives us multiple characters that all play differently, that would be pretty cool. Or, like, mostly different. Like, like again, Shadow, of course, he would just have different animations and stuff. But he could use, like, maybe his Chaos Control, like I was saying. He could throw, like, Chaos Spears. That kind of thing. I think that would be sick. Especially, again, this is an open world game. So, imagine getting to, like... Imagine there's, like, treasure hunting missions, like in Sonic Adventure 2 with Knuckles, where you have to run around and, like, dig for the different Emerald Shards. Imagine getting to do that as Knuckles in an open world game. Oh my god. That would be so much fun. I am telling you. Oh my gosh. That would just... That would be amazing. Like, like I would be 100% here for it. Um, but yeah, and then um, really quick, going back to the purple coins thing, because I'm just kind of spitballing here. Another thing I could do is, like I said, if they give us Super Sonic, give us different skins for Super Sonic as well. Like, you could give us the... Uh, I don't really know. I forgot what the name of the form is, but the Super Sonic from uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, you know, that Excalibur armor form. Like, give us that as a costume. You could even give us, like, Dark Spine Sonic or, like, Dark Sonic, literally, just from Sonic X. Just give us, like, all these different, like, variations on. Like, maybe have them all kind of play similarly, but...
just you know give us like an aesthetic change at least like that's the most i want like because i doubt they would actually put you know dark spine sonic as its own thing in this game but giving it to us as like a costume would be sick you know like that would be really cool uh they could even do like the werehog as like a costume and again maybe some of this could be like dlc or something even it doesn't even have to be base game I could see them like, because that's another way, if this game is really good and it hits, if they add DLC like that, that adds like more cosmetic stuff, but also maybe like more missions and stuff, and uh, you know, things like, like, let's say there's like a Sonic Unleashed DLC pack, right? You get like the Werehog, maybe you could have like Chip as like a little buddy that flies next to you, and then they give you like missions that are based on Sonic Unleashed, like stuff like that could be really cool, and then like Sonic Colors, maybe you could get like the wisps since well i kind of don't want them to bring the wisp back though because they i feel like they use the wisps a lot in this game with how different it plays i mean this, the wisp would be sick in 3d though i'm not gonna lie like in an open world game i mean not 3d the wisp would be pretty sick but like i kind of it seems like they're trying to veer away from that though and i'm fine with that like i'm fine if they don't bring back the maybe if they like i said maybe if they do like a colors dlc pack just put wisps only in those missions i wouldn't really be mad about that you know, just to have them there as, like, a little reference, but not just have them as, like, a main focus of the game. Like, I know a lot of games, like, even Forces had it to where you collect Wisps to fill up your boost gauge. But I prefer how Generations did it, where you got to just do, like, tricks and stuff, and that's what filled up your boost gauge. To me, that's, like, a lot better. It's a lot more fun. It feels more natural, you know, than having to collect, like, a Wisps a wisp capsule. I keep saying, like, Whips. Like, I'm, like, speaking too fast, I guess. But, yeah, and now another thing that I really want... This is something I said back in Forces, and I highly doubt this is ever going to happen. But I really want them to bring Hypersonic back into a game. And I know the main reason, from at least as far as I know from what I've heard, the main reason they haven't put Hypersonic in a game in years is because they're worried about, like, you know, because he's like a, you know, he has all these flashing colors and stuff, and so it could be like epileptic, you know, it could trigger seizures and that kind of thing. But the way they could do it is just kind of change up the design. And instead of having the colors flash, maybe just have him be like a white Sonic, you know? But he has like colors like swirling through him and stuff, you know? I don't really know how to, I can like show it off what I'm talking about exactly. So I hope you can just envision it. Like maybe he's just got like these colors like swirling through him. Kind of like a lava lamp, I guess. He'd give us lava lamp hypersonic. That's what I want. But yeah, just like a bunch of different colors like swirling through him instead of having them flashing. Or even just have him slowly fade from color to color instead of just flashing you know that could i feel like would help the issue if that if the epilepsy is the issue with hypersonic coming back that's what i that would be my solution for it but again i kind of doubt that hypersonic would happen in this game again it'd be cool for me but i feel like with this game though it's not really like needed it's got I, it depends though like we got to see what the story and like the cutscenes and all that are looking like because if these cutscenes are hitting then hypersonic and a cutscene would go crazy but i feel like a hypersonic would work really well for like a generation style game though with classic sonic there too because then both sonics can go hyper like if they ever do a generations 2 that's when i definitely would want a hypersonic but me i just want hypersonic to come back in some form honestly but like i said i highly doubt that is ever gonna happen but yeah we'll just have to see but um i guess the only other things i can talk about or stuff they're probably gonna show off is again the combat um, I don't really know what specifically I want out of the combat. I just hope it's fun. I mean, we got a little bit of combat in that little teaser trailer they showed yesterday. as at, Yesterday at the time of me recording this, which is the day the IGN stuff came out. So, uh, I'm hoping the, the gameplay did look pretty fun from what they showed there. I'm just hoping it is fun. And then, for in terms of the story, honestly, I just hope the story is actually pretty deep. Because the problem with a lot of newer Sonic games is the is the story's really shallow you know like it's like sonic adventure 2 got really deep and dark especially if you pay attention to like shadows backstory like yeah it got really dark <laughs> like and i think that's actually good for a sonic game to set like this darker tone because then it just makes like you know like the end of sonic adventure 2 i, I the game's old so it's like not really a spoiler but you know that game ends with like you having to play a super sonic and super shadow and then you're fighting against like um i forgot the name of the enemy the I can't think of the name. I think the prototype, is that what it's called? I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but I know it is a prototype. So when you're fighting against that at the end, I feel like the reason that hit so much was because of how the game built up every all the story around it to that moment. It just felt so much better. Like even Generations, like the story was kind of lackluster, you know? I mean, obviously seeing Super Sonic, both Sonics go super at the end is cool. 
but it would have been a lot better if the story actually built up to that moment. Which is what... Adventure 2 did that perfectly with having the hero and the dark story. Now again, I don't know if Frontiers is going to do a hero and dark story. That'd be cool. I, but I mean, if they don't do that, I'm really not mad about it. As long as the story is still really good and like deep. Which I think is... Because I think Sega did say that they were aiming to have this game be like an award-winning game. If they want that, the one thing people look for in Sonic games... What, again, another thing that sets Sonic apart from Mario has always been the story. Well, the music, <laughs> too. But the story, for sure. Like, Sonic Adventure 2, a lot of people preferred that over, like, any Mario game because of the story. And I can't blame them because Sonic Adventure 2 just had a great story. And now there is some hope about the story, though, because at least as far as I know... The person working on the IDW comics, which is the newest Sonic comic series, I personally haven't read it myself. I'm planning to soon, though. But I do know the comics always have had really good storylines. And apparently, the guy doing that is the lead writer for Sonic Frontier Story. So, that gives me some hope that this game's going to actually have a really good story. That's what it needs. That's what this Sonic game... Like, if it has a good story... Like, this is all I need. Sonic never misses with the music, so... As long as it has a good main theme, which, I mean, it's Sonic. There's If they fumble the main theme, what are they doing? <laughs> you know? If Sega manages to fumble the main theme, I don't I don't even know what's going on anymore. But if it has a good main theme, it has, you know, a good storyline, and the game is fun, that's really all that matters. Those are the top three things this game needs to have. Just a good storyline, good music, and it just has to be fun to actually, you know, get your hands on and play. Like, with me, like, to this day, I still go back and play Generations all the time. Purely because those stages are just fun to run through. Like, I go back, and, like, whenever I'm just, like, bored and want something to play, I play Generations. Because that game is just fun to just, you know, like, I play, like, my two favorite stages are Rooftop Run and Speed Highway, the modern ones. I love just playing through those stages over and over. Like, the replay value is there just because it's fun. And then, you know, it's kind of, like, Sonic games always had, like, you know, you kind of want to challenge yourself to see how fast you can beat each stage. I don't know if Frontiers is going to have anything like that. Because uh, it seems, like again, more, like, open world and not about, like, beating zones. You know, it's just open world, kind of like Breath of the Wild was. So I don't know if there's going to be, like, that kind of replay value. But that doesn't mean there can't be any replay value. It would just be different, you know. But, like I said, that's what it needs. Like, a good gameplay that gives it replay value. But we'll see. Um, other than that, I think the only other thing I would say I really want out of this Sonic game is I do hope that there's more, like, islands or something to explore because, first of all, this one plateau, I don't think that's all there is to the game because it does seem pretty small. So I'm hoping there is other islands to explore. I'm expecting there to be, but I hope if they are that they're all very different, you know, because... You know, Sonic games have always been known for, like, every zone feels, like, super special and, like, vibrant and stuff. Obviously, this first one is just, like, a nice green green hill. Green hill. It's a nice, like, green hilly area. So, I hope we get actual different areas to explore that are more... That feel more like Sonic, you know? Because this first zone just kind of feels like... Like, it just kind of feels like, like Breath of the Wild. Like, it just, like, it's just nature, you know? It's just, like, trees and stuff. But it's not, like, that cartoony style, I guess you could say, that Sonic has. Like, even Green Hill Zone, like, it doesn't look like a real forest, you know? It's it's Green Hill Zone. Like, you could, you look at it, it's like, yeah, that's Sonic. It's not like, oh, that could be, like, a forest from Breath of the Wild. Like, you could take a screenshot from Sonic Frontiers of just, like, the forest. And you could, like, it'd be hard to guess what game it's from. Which, I mean, again, not a bad thing for it to look real. But I do hope there's some more of that Sonic flair in some of the other stages, you know? Just some, Because Sonic always stands out with their stages, too. So I just hope that there's some more flair to some of the other islands we explore. I'm assuming there are more, which I'm pretty sure. Because, again, this island seems kind of small for that to be the whole game, you know? Because, like, th look at Breath of the Wild. That map was gigantic. And, you know, that, that was enough to fit the whole game. But it's like, imagine the Great Plateau being all there was to Breath of the Wild, you know? Like, that doesn't make sense. So I think Frontiers, we're going to eventually get to different islands. Honestly, it'd be a nice little reference if we can fly there on the on the tornado, you know? It's Tails is playing. Like, if he could fly us to different islands, that'd be sick. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to just see what else they put out. But that's pretty much everything I would really want out of the game. So again, like, more characters this is one big thing. Just give us more playable characters like Silver Shadow. Again, stop, p pile up this game. Even if it's something you have to unlock as you play, that's fine. Just... As long as they're there it's somehow and like I can switch to Shadow in this open world or have like the you know treasure hunting quest with Knuckles and Rouge, like 
Just give me everything, bro. I just want all the characters. Because there's, there's never been a Sonic game that's had that many characters. I think Sonic 06 might have had that many. I don't... I've never actually played 06. Like, I'm going to admit it right now. I've never played 06, but I've seen gameplay and all that of it. I, like, I've seen, I've seen the game. You know, I've seen videos on it, so... I'm, a, I'm pretty sure there were, like, it's been so long. But I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of characters in that game, but this game could have even more. And then, you know, just giving us, like, cosmetics and stuff, and then, you know, if you want to make me happy, give me, like, hypersonic, and then other forms like that. But, again, we'll just have to see what else they reveal down the line. Like I said, I'm not, none of this I'm actually expecting, I'm, except for, like, you know, them having, like, more zones and then a banger song for the theme. Like, I'm expecting that, because that's always in Sonic games. But the rest of the stuff I mentioned, it's more like, ah, like, I hope so. You know, it's not like, oh, I, this needs to happen or I'm not playing it. Because the game could still be fun without any of that. It's just, if it adds that, this is going to put it high up on my favorite Sonic games list. Like, let me tell you. But, yeah, all right. I'm going to end this video off now before it gets way too long. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are expecting or mostly what you guys want out of this game in the comments below. Because I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. And, you know, I just want to get, like, a little discussion started about it. But, yeah. Till next time, though.